Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We're going to be talking about how to add some blemishes and some scratches and smudges into your roughness channel in Redshift so that you can really dial in the realism of your renders. So we just launched Blemish Pro, which has a hundred maps and these are 8K resolution. And we're going to show you how to use them in Redshift. So first of all, I'm going to load maybe a medium damage. We'll drop that into Redshift here. And we're also going to add a scratch map here. So let's check out these scratches. And they're hard to see, but these are 16 bits. So there's a ton of information in them that we'll be able to pull out. So we'll drag a scratches in here as well. All right, let's start with the first one. And let's link that up to our material into the diffuse channel, just so that we can see it better. And let's fire up a render here. So I like to put it into the diffuse channel just so I can visualize everything. And like I said, these are 8K maps, so they're really, really big. So when they come in, you're gonna have to resize them probably. So we're gonna scale these down to, uh, we'll do six and six and see what that looks like. All right, so we need to crush this with kind of a levels adjustment and we're gonna use a ramp to do that. So we'll grab a ramp and we're gonna pipe the out color of that texture into the ramp and then we'll pipe the ramp into the diffuse and with the ramp we can crush all these whites and blacks and really dial in uh, the look that we want here. All right, so we probably need to crush the blacks a little bit. So we can either drag and drop it into the blue and then try to find our reflection roughness. Another quick tip is if you go to the material and you find the parameter that you want to use, so roughness, you can actually click and drag and drop it onto your node here and it'll show up here. So it's kind of a little bit of a workflow speed up here. So we're gonna drag this into our reflection roughness. And you can see that it's a lot more subtle, but we're getting that nice little kind of a grunge map hit in here. And we can play with our uh, ramp a little bit, maybe make it a little bit less crushed here so we can see it better. All right, so we're getting some really nice smudges here. All right, so let's talk about adding these scratches. So we'll add these to our reflection roughness. And just like before, let's change the scale to six and six. And instead of grabbing a new ramp, we can just click and drag while holding control and let go. It's gonna make a copy of this ramp. And then we can uh, just add this ramp onto the scratches. All right, so let's crush these scratches so that we can see them a little bit better. All right, so I can't see them very well. So let's actually take this and put this into the diffuse just so that we can really dial it in and be able to visualize it better. So let's see what this looks like. You can see that we have our scratches. They're a little bit small. So let's actually make these a bit larger so we can see them. Maybe three and three. All right, so two and two seems to work and let's uh, disable that diffuse. So it's just going to the roughness and now you can see that we have those scratches in here. And again, we can play around with the ramp as well. So that's looking pretty good. Okay, so we have two uh, scratch maps and we wanna layer these on top of each other so that we have smudges and scratches. And we're gonna do that using a math node and it's the add one. So we can go to math and add. And this has a input one and an input two. We just have to drag both of these maps into one and two. And we'll drag this one into two. And the output we're gonna put into the reflection roughness. And we'll see what this looks like. All right, so now you can see that we have mixed the two nicely. We have our smudges and we also have our scratches. And if we wanna dial this in even further, what we can do is add another ramp. And we can do the ramp after that RS add. And this will be an overall ramp of both of these maps. So this is controlling both of these textures, so kind of the overall look here. And if we wanna dial this back a little bit, we can take the white and maybe bring it down to a bit more of a gray so that it's subtler. And now we have a ramp that can control both maps, or we can go into the individual ramps and play with those. So this is a really quick way to add tons of realism to your renders with scratches and smudges, little blemishes that are gonna go a long way. So I hope that you're able to check out Blemish Pro. It has 100 of these maps, all 8K resolution and seamless, 16-bit, and I hope you guys find them useful. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab, and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.